on the Northrop Grumman Field. George, take it away. Well, vaccination, I don't think anyone could have predicted that it would come to this. It's time for finals match three. Vaccination, let's meet these teams. You've met, seen them play all throughout this elimination tournament. Once again, in red is the Technology Division Champions from Cupertino, California, Team 11101B BarkBots. And with them, from Harrisburg, South Dakota, and Tiger Robotics, Team 7686B Captain. And just tying up in that last match, the Spirit Division champions in blue, starting out with Team 69996W from Taitong City, WE. And rounding out this match from McLean, Virginia, it's Team 12H, the Potomac School's Happy Haystack. The series is tied. This match will determine our new world champions. So audience, once again, let me ask you, is it gonna be the Red Alliance? And now, let's hear it for the Blue Alliance. We've got a fantastic set of four. They're ready to crown a world champion. Let's find out how this plays out. Audience, once again, count it down with me. In three, two, one, go! In the autonomous period, two discs immediately going up for red. 76, 86 firing a little too high in the next set. It looks like they may have crossed the line. Referees could put their arm out at the end of this autonomous. Blue Alliance gets the autonomous bonus. Drivers ready. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Now in action is driver control. The Blue Alliance took advantage of that early bonus, but the Red Alliance did score more in that autonomous period. Now catching up is Team 12H, the Happy Haystack scoring up high for the Blue Alliance. Underneath the Red Alliance goal, it's the Cupertino team, BarkBots, setting up a set of three. Beautiful show shooting by the BarkBots, loading up those three discs, one, two, making it in up high for red. On the Blue Alliance, 7686B is stuck on the curb. They get a helping hand from their alliance partner, but right behind them, we've got the Taitong City team. They seem to be stuck. Their drivetrain isn't moving. Oh, there they go, they're back in action. But on the Red, red Alliance side of the field, all four robots now colliding with each other as 7686 goes up to score, misses courtesy of 12H. 45 seconds remaining on the clock at Potomac School, playing strong defense, now picking up from the human player station. 35 seconds left on the clock. Blue Alliance now looking at those rollers. They've got two in their possession and a huge set of scores go up from Red. 69-96, trying to keep the BarkBots from scoring any more. They go to the rollers instead. Cupertino trying to mount a comeback now. Blue Alliance narrowly leading by just eight points. Five seconds until the end game now. Blue Alliance and Red going back and forth on the rollers. It's two all. As we move into the end game now, look for those end game mechanisms going left and right. Three seconds left, two, one, and that is time. are going to have a heck of a time figuring out how this played out, but check out those high goals. Looks like it's even scoring for red and blue. Grant, I'm going to throw this back to you. That it's time to toss to Tyler and Bobby. Tyler and Bobby, do you have some good news for me? <laughs> Grant, Vex Nation, it is my absolute pleasure to announce your 2023 Vex Robotics World Champions the Technology Division!
from the technology division. Let me hear you. Yes, sir. And since you asked that question, you're who I'm going to talk to. What's your name, man? Uh, Alexander. Alexander, you just won the world championship. How's it feel? Uh, like, really exciting. Like, really ex Come on. Like, really excited? Yeah, like, really excited. <laughs> well, I've got something else that I think might be really exciting as well. Do you want front row seats to something that's really exciting? Yeah, I do. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is.